Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to manage uh, changing the colors of the elements on a face mapping item, non-matrix face mapping item. So uh, you've probably already got your st uh, stuff set up and you've created your map in here and in this case I've got a ghost and I've got it all white because ghosts are typically white so that's a good default to start with. In the past, you would probably create multiples of these maps and change the colors around for things that you wanted to do. That gets annoying having to build, you know, five, six, seven maps or every time you want to change the color of your face element. So we don't want to do that. We just want to set up one map and we'll give it a sensible default here of, of white for, for a ghost because that makes sense the majority of the time. And then you can see here, you know, my ghost is singing along here. This is a... Uh, new lip sync it's uh, using the mark collections up here you can see how that works in other videos but now you know it's great it's a white ghost works perfectly for that kind of thing but everyone I may want to actually change the color of this ghost at times so what I'm going to do here is actually go up into and create some layers to manage this so I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to call this uh, mask and fill and I'm going to configure this to require a mixing partner which means that any effects in this layer require another effect alongside of them for them to do anything this actually prevents them from just rendering on their own when they're when they're in this layer so we say okay I'm going to go up here and call this color change just for simplicity helps me understand what I've got all good there so now if I want this thing to actually have a um, be a red ghost, I can drop this on here. I'm going to add this into the color change layer. And I'm going to make this red. And Viola, as simple as that, I have a red ghost singing now. Pretty easy to do. And I can do this in multiple places. So if I want just the outline of the ghost to be red, I can move my effect down to the outline. And now I have a, a red outline with uh, white eyes and, and lips singing along. And this works on uh, any number of things. So I can have you know red eyes and and white background. Or if I wanted to, you know, do it in whoops, want that there we go. So now I can have you know just the white mouth singing along there. So that's pretty obvious how you can manipulate that around to do what you want. But we can also get a little more creative with this and, and use some of the other effects. So if I go up here and say, let's take a wipe and let's drop this on the outline. So just dropping that on there, we get an idea of what we're going to see here. I'm going to make this red just for interest sake. And then I'm going to put this into the color change layer. And then I'm going to go over here. Now I get a red wipe across there, but my white is still showing through, which, you know, in itself makes a fair uh, interesting effect. But maybe I want just the simple uh, red wipe all the way across. Well, the wipe doesn't actually create um, data in all these blank spaces. So there's nothing really in here to mix out the, the white part in the mask and fill layer. So a little advanced layering here. I can go and take a, a set level and drop it on here as well. And the color for this one doesn't matter. I'm just looking to fill in the gaps. And then I'm going to set this down to a level of 1. This basically makes it all but disappear, but it still generates some data. I'm going to put this into the color change layer. And now if I take these and put these together, now you see that I have a, a red wipe walking across the outline. Now I've gotten rid of the white that was that was there before as part of the overlay. So this gives me a lot more power to mix with the layers and the several different effects to create interesting things to go on. So I can also take and use something like, uh, let's grab, um, let's see, let's grab the pinwheel here. This makes for an interesting effect. I'll put this on here. You can kind of get a hint there of of what that might look like in there. I'll drop this into the color change layer and use the, the mixing with it as well with the set level to, to blank out the, the white in there and I get this you know shimmering effect. If I don't use the the other set level in there to, to mask out the blank areas then I end up with a, a mixed 
you know, pinwheel over the white that's that's there to begin with. So it gives me a lot of interesting combinations that I can do in changing the, the behavior of the colors in, in the lip sync items to create more interesting effects. So hopefully that gives you some ideas on, on how to approach this, and uh, good luck.